next question, because uh, we have a uh, well, we we actually don't have the time, so you guys are very quick to see the answer. But I don't have time to explain that question. So let me go on to my challenge two questions. Okay, I'll try to finish. Well, I'll extend the class for um, uh, ten minutes, and then I'll try to explain the the questions. Okay, I try to explain as many questions as as, as I can. So math challenge two class, we have the uh, uh, the geometry and the uh, combinatorics and all those um, combinatorics and the number theory and uh, algebra. So all those four topics every season, every quarter we have one topic. So the geometry will be in the fall, and this is one of the geometry questions. And this is uh, uh, first of all. Hexagon equal angular convex hexagon has those values of the side lengths. Okay, so okay, so uh, these are the angles of 120 degrees because it equal angular. All right, so yeah, so people answer giving answers. Those are good. Okay, those answers. Now we're asking for the area. So this this means the area. Okay, so you, if you get the answer. Uh, that's very good. Okay, so right now it's um, all the angles are equal to 120 degrees, and how do you solve it? Okay, I will I would say that people have also have a creative ways of solving it. For example, some students come up with the idea of cutting it up, cutting it up like this: horizontal lines, and uh, let's see. What, what is the best way to cut it? I think the, the best way of cutting it is this. So this break it up into two, uh, into into two um, isosceles trapezoids. Okay, and then you can measure, you can calculate those sides. But the most straightforward way to do this is to extend it, to think outside the box. Okay, extend the picture to this extend the lines into to make it into an equilateral triangle because it's uh, 120 degrees you make those will be 60 degrees okay so you extend this it's a big equilateral triangle and then that equilateral triangle the side lens is one this side lens is two and this side lens we don't know but we know the whole equilateral triangle the side lens is seven so if that is seven, uh, well, if that that is seven, and that is seven, so we have a we have a one here. We have a one here that has to be a five. So then the whole we have formula for equilateral triangles. So the 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 whole area will be the entire equilateral triangle. The formula is this. Okay, square root of three over four, a square. A is the side length. So in this case, we have square root of three over four times 7 squared, but those three small equilateral triangles we have to sub subtract, right? 1 squared minus another 1 squared minus 2 squared. So people got 43 square root 3 over 4, right? So you calculate this, this is 43, okay? <clears throat> so the this is the formula. So if you don't know how where the formula come from, uh, you have to go through the... Um, uh, yeah, you have to go through the the uh, uh, math challenge one and go to math challenge two. We talk about the formula, okay? <laughs> you, um, okay, I yeah. In this in this one, I I don't mind the spoiler. I know people are are smart, so you you type in your answers. That's fine. You help me answer answer questions. I'm glad. Okay, I'm glad. Okay, so uh, if you do have question, you do have trouble with those. Uh, I do encourage you to take the take the classes, and we will cover those bases. Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk about here. Explain why Halloween equals Christmas. Okay, if you know it, keep quiet. Okay, if you know it already, keep quiet. You took my classes before. I talk about this for years and years. So that <laughs> I'll ask you to keep quiet. And so. If you don't know, think about why Halloween and Christmas are equal. Both are holidays. That's one question. That, that's one answer. Okay, both are holidays, but why are they equal? 
uh, something to do with the letters to numbers. Both you get treats, that's very nice, you get candies, okay? And how it is math? <laughs> okay, that's a good question. This is the math problem. This is the math problem. So, letters, how many letters do you have? How many letters do you have? Okay, so each one has nine letters, right? So that, but that doesn't mean they're equal, right? So, so the people answering base, that's what they got, okay? So they, they, I, I know they got it, I know they, they know it. But um, for the, uh, <coughs> okay, let's look at what's Halloween, okay? What's Halloween? It's October 31st, right? October 31st. Let me write October 31st. Uh, let me let me use typing typing the uh, letters instead of just writing October 31st. And what's Christmas? December 25. Okay. So in the number theory class, we talk about we talk about number bases. Okay, number bases. Uh, usually we use number base 10. So we count in base 10. Whenever we get a 10, we, we carry, okay, to the next digit. So we can do this, we do this because we have 10 fingers generally, okay? <clears throat> so if we do, okay, everyone, if you talk about unrelated stuff, uh, let, let's keep quiet, okay? If we do uh, different bases, that's work too. For example, if you count by 8, Okay, every time you get eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but there's no eight. You have to carry to the next level. So eight, base eight is like that. Okay, so why is base eight important? Uh, you know, binary, base two is important because we, we have uh, computers. We use computers, base, base two. So base eight is a compromise between base two and the base 10 because base two is just a zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. You can't, it's, it's too hard for, programmers and and the base 10 is not easy to convert to base 2 so base 8 is easier to convert to base base 2 and it's uh, closer to base 10 so it's easier to recognize that's usually used in the uh, in the computer programming when when you grow up to do a career you you go into the computer science go, go into computer engineering you use base 8 a lot so base 8 is called octo And base 10 is called decimal. So shorthand writing is OCT means octo, and DEC means decimal. So this base 8 is 31 in base 8. So the place values of 3 actually means 3 times 8. And if you plus 1, that's a that's value converted to base 10. So that's equal to 25. So that's why octo 31 is equal to decimal 25. All right? So that's why Halloween and Christmas equal. So go go to your friends and tell them about this 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 thing, okay? <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. I got I got a I got the typo. There should be a, shouldn't be another extra letter, okay? It should be <laughs> it should be just the two letters. Okay, so let me move on. Okay, if we have more time, we come back to this. Let me move on to MC three.